What's up everybody? LK here, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about beam assist. So right now we're in part 4 of the assist series. So, so far we talked about lockdown assists, which are pretty much exactly what you think they are. Uh, those are like your go tanks, your Kibu, Yamcha style assists. Then you have your strike assists, which that's a pretty big group, and that's like your Bardock, your Yamchas in there, Ginyu's in there and there. And last week, we talked about anti assists. These are like your DP assists, are probably the super well known ones. Adult Gohan, especially, Team Gohan on the come up, Cooler, Trunks, Frieza, that type. So this week is Beam Assist. So Beam Assists come in actually more forms than you think. The obvious ones would be, of course, SSJ, Goku, and Goku Black, and also GT sneaks in here, even though GT is also an anti-air group, GT also sneaks in here. But there are other people who are low-key in here, like Tian, for example, uh, 21, Zamasu, so the whole group actually would be, what order do I have them in? I have Tian, GT, SSJ Goku, Goku Black, 21, Zamasu, and, oh no, not and, Broly, oh, I'm missing Broly, Broly, Nappa, and Frieza gets actually a special mention here. These are pretty much my core beam assists. So, the beam assists in general, the very, very base, Frieza is like barely in here. The very, very base of beam assist is that they're used to clear the ground or they're used to clear a specific defined area. Um, now, the nice thing about these assists is that they generally can be done for, for full screen, so they pretty much support everybody. Uh, they let you do moves that you probably couldn't do normally on your own, and combined with like, moves that let you for lack of a better word, move around the screen like God Slicer or Lariat. Um, you can kind of frolic and control a lot of space if you build your assist out right. So, I guess, I mean, if you're going to say that Freeze is in this group, I don't know when I made this list, but Freeze is in this group and Cell is in this group too. Cell gets this special, this special buff. Let's bring him in right now. So how you use these assists, the very, we'll start with the very, very general base use, and then we'll talk about uh, a couple of specific uses. Uh, last week we talked about GT specifically, he is an anti-air assist, so there's not much special about him, but uh, we got a couple of characters on here that have like special use. For the most part, um, the people who aren't traditional, outright traditional beam like Zabasu or Broly um, or Cell. It's just about them clearing out a different area rather than straight up the ground. Even though in Zamasu and Broly's case they clear out the ground. Zamasu he hits like a like at like jump height and Broly's is slow. Cell of course is 45 degrees downward. So your standard use of beam of course is get that ground and you get to go in but you can combine this with like movement options as well so you can do like this or you can also dive kick and do it you can basically move around the screen relatively freely and call your beam and you just have those angles under your control this is why beams are so popular in the first place with top tier characters because a lot of top tier characters can either control full screen somehow with at least some move or they have some special move that lets them move around the screen. So that is like your honest, base, flat usage of beam. Also, if they are, uh, let's not do it like this. If they're jumping to, you can aim, this is pretty common as well. You can aim to time the beam so that you catch them when they're landing. This takes a little practice, so... Alright. You can try to bring them down like that. You can also use it defensively with varying results. You can see people jump forward, call their beam. Now, in the case of Tian, so I have Tian here. I think Tian, it, it's super good with Tian because if they get hit... Oh, that's guard all my bad. Can't see today. So, if they get hit by Tian, 
the hiccup firm is really really easy compared to most moves. The hiccup firm is super super easy. It's the same case for like 21. Her hers is just pops you up. So you can use it defensively. You can move it defensively, call it. You also have of course GT. So GT is a beam assist that just covers an anti-air angle like I said. And so, as I said earlier, B is a beam assist that covers the 45 degree angle, which is actually its own group. It's a small group, but it's its own group. Now, another nice benefit of beams is that they generally have a lot of block stun. There are some exceptions, like so the monster, Burly, and Tian all don't really have that much block stun, but GT, Goku, and Goku Black have a good amount. 21 is uh, not that much, but you could work with it. Nappa is not that much, but you could work with it. And Frieza, if you decide to include Frieza in that group, he actually has a decent amount of blocks on, so it's sort of so. So, if you have like a top, uh, pretty common top tier, like you play Kid Buu, for example, you could do the, the orb with pretty much all of these assists. You could do it. Uh, for the most part. I'm not sure about the 25 frame assist, but definitely like your SSJ Goku, Goku Black, GT, you could unquestionably do it. So it's pretty common to see setups with these beam assist type characters. So as a summary, there there are these actually how people use these are pretty decent sign too of like they're neutral in the game because you're trying to clear the ground so your core strategy here is clear the ground or move and the nice thing about these characters too is that because of what they're used for, they go with a lot of characters. They go with a lot of characters. So unlike lockdown assists where uh, your build becomes more specific and you basically make a three-man team and your anti-air assists where sometimes you just have to play them with specific other characters, theme characters are kind of like strike characters where they pretty much go on all teams. Like, you hear a lot of people say like X character plus Goku has to be good. Cooler plus SSJ Goku, or like Nappa plus SSJ Goku, Base Vegeta plus SSJ Goku, all good combinations, right? Why? Because he clears the ground, so he lets them do their stuff that normally would be considered unsafe. And this basically goes for pretty much all the beam assists. Beams are just like strikes. They're very, very universally supporting of your other characters. So, hopefully this makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any additional questions about these characters in the comments. And I will see you next time.